Hello, Artsy Peeps! This is Ian DJ, Raven Fox 13. Today, we will be unboxing a new art material set that I got from a shopping website. Now, let's check. These are some uh, vintage art materials. There you go. Oh! Hi, ang galing. So... It's well packed. I can't even uh, remember <laughs> what I ordered the other time. So back when I was in college, uh, we have a very limited amount of art materials that we can use. So. One of the brands that I really like was Grumbacher. So I got these colors. Oh, this is a freebie. A free mixing tin. So we'll probably use this one for today. So this is a free when you order these things. So these are Grumbacher Finest Artist Watercolors. So these are the colors that I chose for, from their set. So I have uh -huh. it's a little bit uh, again. So I have burnt sienna here and then emerald green and alizarin crimson. This is their finest artist watercolor vintage. There. And then from the same cropping site, I also got uh, these ones there so these are the Grumbacher Academy Artist Watercolor so I got uh, Thalo Purple and Ultramarine Blue one of my favorite colors sadly they don't have uh, Yellow Gamboge available so I opted to get these colors instead I'd probably just get a yellow uh, on the new one. So, for this uh, video, we'll be trying out these paints. So, to start, uh, I'll be checking them out first. The tube is actually okay. Uh-huh. The pigment and light fastness is good. Okay. Let's check for the other ones. Okay, light fastness, very good. Light fastness. Oh, my alizarin crimson is a fugitive alizarin crimson. I probably get a another one, probably cadmium red. Oh, this is the original alizarin crimson. Anyway, so let's put a little bit on our pan. So that's alizarin crimson. And then we break from the color. So I'm excited to try this out. I'll be using a watercolor paper. So this would be Canson XL Aquarelle 300 GSM for the swatch. So uh, let's begin. Try to check these things. Okay. I have a tissue paper just in case. I'll be using a ultra round brush from Silver Brush, one of my favorite brushes lately. We'll start with the uh, this one. We'll start with the Academy series. So this one is from Grumbacher Artist Academy. First one would be the purple. Wow. So let's try this out. Ah, <laughs> this is a beautiful color. 
This is actually better than I expected. Let's just get water and see how it reacts. Beautiful. I hope it maintains the vib vibrancy even if it dries. So, cleaning my brush, I'm going to the ultramarine. My favorite color. One of my favorite color. Whoa, ultramarine. It should have similar properties of ultramarine. <laughs> this is so good. I'm getting water here. Trying to blend here. Most ultramarine should uh, granulate. Let's see later. Next would be the green, the explosive green. No, it's called uh, emerald green. So this would be a bright green. Whoa. Beautiful for a green. Beautiful green. And then let's check the one of my favorite browns. Burnt Sienna. There. <laughs> Ay, these are the artist grade water colors. Beautiful. This is a beautiful Burnt Sienna. Lastly would be the Alizarin Crimson. Sadly, this one is a fugitive color. But we'll try it otherwise. When you say uh, color is fugitive, it would uh, fade after a shorter period of time in comparison with the light fast colors <gasps> beautiful this is so beautiful let's try to uh, mix some colors using these so my yellowish color would come from burnt sienna let's try the alizarin crimson and the Ultramarine blue, one of my favorite mix. Let's see if they can create a beautiful purple. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> color let's try to do a wheel but I'll be using the burnt sienna as my yellow so it would be uh, red probably a purple here and then you get the blue Okay, and then after the blue, you get the green. After that one, we'll be replacing our yellow with the burnt sienna here. Same time for the other side. Let's get the red. This one. For the burnt sienna. The colors from the tube still reactivate and dilute beautifully. Hmm. Nice. Let's try uh, dropping wet on wet. Nice. Blue. So beautiful. Green. Nice. Another one here. 
that would be probably the cool colors let's try warmer colors on this one alizarin <laughs> burnt sienna and a little bit of purple so most of this is dry the colors are actually bright as if they are not vintage colors vintage packs so beautiful experiments I'd probably uh, paint something using just these colors so I have uh, waited for the paints to dry looking at them if they would granulate if they would lighten up or if the color would fade so the Gumbacker Finest Artist Watercolors that we have here, there, so this would be the, what's the name of this one? This is a uh, Kinacridone Violet, Thalo Purple, and then you have the Ultramarine, and then we have our Emerald Green, and then burnt sienna lastly a lizard and crimson now let's check what happened to the colors around here so most of them dried and let's try if it's a little chalky it's not so all of the colors remain vibrant they lightened a little bit and the ultramarine had this beautiful gradation granulation rather okay almost everything looks perfect now I'll be using a Grumbacker watercolor paper this was sent to me by Grumbacker Art USA and let's try to And we will try to paint a simple flower using this. I'll just get a page and then cut it out for a short while. And then I'll be using the same palette that we used before. Okay? So that is the uh, vintage floral postcard using uh, vintage Grumbacker watercolors, both in Academy and the Finest Artist watercolors. As you can see, you can still use the watercolors even if they're the old production. So that would be the finished.
painting of the vintage floral postcard using the vintage watercolors from Grumbacher. I have used the Grumbacher watercolor paper to finish this one. And I think they still work very good. So see you again on my next vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Ian DJ, Raven Fox 13. Ciao!